We've been anticipating Ego's battery-powered zero-turn mower for a while now. It finally arrived and we wasted no time putting it through its paces to see if it's a viable replacement for gas-powered residential ZTs. Thanks for clicking on our video. We hope you find it helpful. While you're here, consider helping us out by hitting the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you like what you see. When you finish watching this video, check out our thoughts on Ego's Nexus power station. Let's start with a tour around the mower. As you can see, it maintains a fairly traditional ZT design with 18-inch drive wheels on the back that are independently controlled and 11-inch 360-degree casters on the front to help you make those tight turns with the lap bars. Looking at the front of the mower, you can see the LED lights. Now, these are always on whenever the mower is on, but if you hit the light button on the control panel, you get even more so you can mow in low or even no light whatsoever. Now, on the back, there's another set, and those blink when you're in reverse, so anybody who's standing behind you will know you're coming. Moving around to the driver's right, you'll find the manual deck height adjustment bar. Now this raises or lowers the 42 inch steel deck between 1.5 and 4.5 inches in 10 increments. Further around and up is the LCD control panel. Now we're going to come back to that in just a minute because there's a lot going on here. And behind the seat, you'll find the battery bank. Now the kit comes with four 10 amp hour 56 volt arc lithium batteries, but you can use up to six. Now the nice thing is that Ego uses the same exact batteries for this mower that it does for their other lawn care products, making it completely compatible across their entire line. If you want to swap in other packs, just keep in mind that you need at least 15 amp hours worth of batteries to mow. Moving to the left of the driver, you'll find the charging port, and we think it's a pretty big deal that you've got onboard charging. You can leave the batteries in there, and the only time you ever really need to take them out is if you just want to use them to power another tool. Now the charger is pretty substantial on this, but it's got keyholes on the back so that you can hang it on the wall, and it gives you a pretty generous 15-foot cord reach. As far as the actual charging goes, this is an impressive system. And we ran the mower down to 6% when it kicked into limp mode to tell us to go back to the shop. And we put it on the charger and it took one hour and 53 minutes for it to come back to a 100% charge on the four batteries we started with. The Ego Z6 gives you a handy storage area on your left hand side. It's got a magnetic closure and a USB charger on the inside. It's also big enough to store your keys, wallet, and phone if you want. Next to that is a welcome cup holder with two sizes that can hold a bottle of water or even an oversized mug from your local corner store. At the center of it all, Ego includes a pretty comfortable seat with movable armrests. Clint was able to find a good setting for his considerably lighter frame, but it did bottom out in bumpier areas. A few turns to tighten it up and he was good to go. On the other hand, my 6 foot 2, 200 pound build needed to increase the tension and set the seat back some, but I was also able to find a good fit with room to spare. To turn the mower on, start by making sure you have the key inserted. A press of the power button will show you your battery charge status. Press and hold it to bring the Z6 to life and push the parking brake on the left side with your foot to release it. You have separate controls for the drive speed on the left and blade speed on the right, and that takes a little bit of getting used to. Each has four levels to choose from, and if you hold the button at the top of the drive speed, you can kick into a fifth mode that turns off the blades and lets you travel at your highest speed, about eight miles per hour. The mowing speeds run between three and seven miles per hour. Also, if you want to change speeds or modes, you can't do it on the fly. You'll need to stop and put the lap bars in the park position first. The bottom two blade speeds are good for light cutting and dry grass. The top two speeds are better for thicker, wetter grass. Now, similar to the drive speed, if you press and hold the top blade speed, you'll kick into a turbo mode. That's great for those tough patches, but we didn't find it necessary for any of our cutting. Across the bottom of the control screen, you'll see three drive modes. These define the aggressiveness of the acceleration and the turning. Control mode is great if you're new to zero turns or trying to be careful around landscape obstacles. Standard mode feels most like the residential ZTs we've used in the past, and sport mode is where you're going to get the quickest accelerations and turns. We were even able to spin the tires slightly in sport mode. We recommend sticking with the standard mode unless you're an advanced ZT veteran or need to outrun that summer thunderstorm. There's even more information on the control panel, including connecting to your mower with Bluetooth and adjusting for left and right drift. Check out your manual for more details on those. Looking forward from the driver's seat, there's an LED indicator between your feet to help you keep an eye on your charge levels without having to take your eyes off of what's in front of you. It's a brilliant concept and we love it. Like many ZTs, the long wheelbase of the mower becomes noticeable when you're mowing around objects. It's certainly capable of tight, zero radius turns, but getting the cutting deck to hug smaller trees, buried tank covers, and other obstacles is a challenge. All that's great, but how well does it actually cut? Ego claims the Z6 has the power of a 22 horsepower engine. With that in mind, we weren't testing so much to see if it's good for an electric zero turn, we were testing it to see how it compares to the cutting experience of a gas ZT. We did our testing in January, which is still mowing season for Central Florida. Cutting a combination of Bahia and San Augustine grasses, we got excellent cut quality, taking our test lawn down from five inches to three and a half inches. At least that's what we presume the height was, considering the adjustments seemed to take place in one third inch increments. There's also plenty of muscle behind the blades. We were able to cut in the bottom two speeds, but we got much better lift inside ejection at high speed. 
That's where the mower cuts most like a gas-powered model. That's also the setting that should give you the best mulching if you add the optional plug. We had about an acre of lawn to cut, and the runtime was more than enough to cover that. To do our runtime test, we set the mode to standard and both the drive and blade speeds to level four. And after borrowing some of our neighbor's lawn to help us out, we were able to cut for a full hour. With the same settings and similar lawn conditions, you can easily cover an acre and a half. Two acres isn't unreasonable if you've got the type of larger property where you're making longer runs. Filling out the battery capacity with two more 10 amp hour packs, Ego claims you can cut up to three acres. As we roll into the spring and summer seasons when the grass grows fast and thick, we expect our runtime will drop a bit with the heavier workload, but we should still be able to get it done on the kitted batteries without a problem. In our opinion, the design team clearly did their homework, and Ego's first attempt at a battery powered zero turn mower is a home run. Priced at $4,999, it offers a really compelling value compared to other mowers at the same price point. And yes, we do intend to compare this mower to the others as soon as they become available. If you have any questions or feedback for us, feel free to leave those in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. Help us out by subscribing to our channel below. If you enjoyed what you saw, hit that like button and turn on notifications to stay up to date on our latest videos.